hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be doing some beautiful shabby chic fall farmhouse diys this is for the collab with lenny from crafting with lenny she does these lenny shabby tuesdays so i cannot wait to share with you what i did also i'll have her link down in the description box so you can definitely go check out what she did all right so i am going to start with this dollar tree wood pumpkin going to start by removing the tag and the bow to paint the pumpkin i will be using this beautiful pink it is from the brand folk art and the name of the paint is called seashell pink Now I'm going to use these half beads that I got from Amazon. I'll have the link down in the description box in case you want to check them out. You get so many and they're very inexpensive. I am going to just glue them all around the pumpkin. so i normally don't do shabby chic on my channel but i wanted to give it a try and honestly i didn't want to go and purchase something so i tried to use whatever i had and i remember i had these dolly thingies i got these from the dollar tree and i thought these were perfect to make this pumpkin look more into a shabby chic one so i am going to just place one of these things right on top of it and then i'm going to basically eyeball it <laughs> i didn't use anything or trace it i just cut it i cut the border to the size of the 3d little details that the pumpkins have before i glue them i am going to paint the details using some white chalk paint and i'm going to add these lamb ears as leaves and then i'm going to add a lace bow that i made using a lace ribbon that i got from the dollar tree now i'm going to use some mod podge and i'm going to glue these dolly thingies on there i also did some in the center and that is it guys that is it for this pumpkin i think it turned out beautiful i absolutely love the details and how the doilies make this pumpkin look For my next DIY, I will be using this Halloween decor sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the back. So I'm going to start by removing the tag and then I'm going to paint this using some white chalk paint. I'm not going to paint this perfect. I do want this sign to look more distressed, more whitewash. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Meanwhile, I'm going to use one of these pumpkins that I got from this pumpkin garland that I got from Walmart, which was $3.98. I think it has six different pumpkins and they're all different size and colors. Or seven, sorry, I think seven. But anyways, if you can't find any pumpkins at Dollar Tree, you can always go to Walmart. They do have some. They do cost a little more, but that is another alternative. Now I'm going to just paint the pumpkin using the folk art in the color seashell pink. Now I'm going to use this vanilla color to add more details to the pumpkin. Gonna be, 
and I'm going to paint the stem using some brown paint. Now I'm going to work on another pumpkin. This little pumpkin, I got it from Dollar Tree. I got mine last year, but I know this year Dollar Tree is carrying different ones. But anyways, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree lace ribbon and I'm going to glue it all around the pumpkin. And look how beautiful this pumpkin turned out. It looks like a sweater pumpkin. Now I'm going to just glue him to my sign. The next thing I will be doing is just cutting a piece of this burlap ribbon. It's not a ribbon, this burlap that I have. And then I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller because it is too big. And then I'm going to glue it to my sign. Right now, Dollar Tree is carrying so many wood signs, even some uh, cabinet signs that you can use. But I will be using this one that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to just glue it on top of the burlap. I did add a burlap bow to the pumpkin. Now I'm going to just put some jute string on the sign and that is it guys. That is it for this blessed sign. I think it turned out so beautiful. For my next DIY, I'm going to use one of these Dollar Tree foam pumpkins. I'm going to start by removing the stem and then I'm going to paint this using that beautiful pink from Folk Art. I did have to give this two coats of paint. Now, once it was dry, I used one of the doilies and then I use a Mod Podge to glue it right on top of it. Once it was dried, I used some jute twine to just glue it all around the pumpkin. For the leaves, I will be adding some lamb's ear and I'm going to add this extra little stem that I had plus I'm going to add a bow that I made out of the lace ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. And that is it for this pumpkin.
my next diy is going to be very easy and simple to do now from dollar tree i'm going to use one of the doilies and then i'm going to paint it using the same beautiful pink once it's dry i'm going to turn it the other way and then i'm going to add a pumpkin now this pumpkin right here i got it from a hobby lobby pack but dollar tree does carry pumpkins you can use instead i am going to just basically wrap the pumpkin around it using this dolly then i'm going to add some mod podge i was going to use hot glue but then i decided to use mod podge instead so before it dries i am going to add the stem then i'm going to let it dry and once it is dry i'm going to just add a jute twine bow and that is it for this pumpkin transformation i think it turned out so cute For my next DIY, I will be using a Dollar Tree decor. Now, I am going to remove the plastic and the back. I also removed the paper. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this, but you don't have to remove the paper if you're going to add a scrap of paper right on top. So, I am going to use this beautiful scrap of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to cut it to the size and then I'm going to glue it. I finally got a glue stick so i am going to use that instead even though it's a school glue stick i couldn't find the craft ones because they are like remodeling my walmart but this one still works i'm going to use another pumpkin from the little garland that i got from walmart and i'm going to paint it using a vanilla color To give it more of a distressed look, I am going to use a little piece of sandpaper and sand it down. Then I'm going to just glue the pumpkin to the side. To finish it off, I am going to make a bow using the Dollar Tree lace ribbon. And I'm going to add a little wood, thankful little sign that I had. And that is it guys, that is it for this DIY, which was so easy and simple to do. And that is it guys let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know and don't forget to go check out lenny's i'll have her link down in the description box so you can definitely go check her out so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye